Welcome to Lecture Online, and here's our next example of how to use Ampere's law. In this case, we're going to use a bundle of wires that have current running through them. Notice that two of the currents are in the direction out of the board, the third current is into the board, and one note what the strength and direction of the magnetic field is at this particular location. Now, if the three currents are bundled together really close, they're basically in the same location, one thing we can do is we can use Ampere's law to figure out how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a, a, a continuous circle around that going through this point. So the whole idea is to draw a, a circle around the current where the circle will go through the point of interest. Now if that point had been over here, you draw a very big circle. If the point had been closer, you draw a much smaller circle as long as the circle goes right to that point. So let's do that. So notice that this is the radius right there. So we need to draw a circle of that radius all the way around like so. And now we know from using Ampere's law that the closed line integral of the strength of the magnetic field and the direction of the magnetic field on that line multiplied times the direction of the line segment that is always going to be equal to mu sub naught times the total current enclosed by that loop integral. Alright, so notice that the way, the way it works is that this circle right here is equidistance away from the three currents all the way around and also notice that using the right hand rule if we take the, the current coming out of the board and you put your thumb in that direction notice that the strength of the magnetic field will be like that around the wires if we take the other one where it's into the board the current into the board take your thumb in the direction of that current and then of course the magnetic field will be in the opposite direction and so it depends if there's more current coming out than current going in, then the net result is the magnetic field will, will be in that direction. If there's more current going into the board, then the magnetic field will be going in that direction. Now, what we need to do is we need to multiply B dot DL. And remember, since the dot product, we know that the dot product, B dot DL, is equal to the magnitude of B times the magnitude of DL times the cosine of the angle between the two. But remember, that in this case, since there's perfect symmetry, that if we assume that the B field is going to be in this direction, then we also know when we integrate that with the line integral right there, if that's our small little line segment, B dot DL is simply going to be B times DL times the cosine of zero degrees between them. Since the cosine of zero is equal to one, we don't need to worry about that. So in this case, it's going to be B times DL times the cosine of zero degrees. We know that the cosine of zero degrees is equal to one, so simply B times DL. The total integral around that is going to be simply B times the length of the path. We can then plug that in there, and so therefore the strength of the magnetic field will be the same all the way around the circle times the path that we took, which is two pi times r, that's the length of the path, that's the circumference of a circle, that's going to be equal to mu sub naught times the sum of all the currents included, which is a positive 4 amps plus a positive 3 amps minus 2 amps. And so that's how we find the magnetic field inside. So we can say that therefore the B field is equal to mu sub naught times 4 plus 3 is 7 minus 2 which would be 5 amps with a total current enclosed divided by 2 pi times the radius. So I just put some numbers in for the current so you can see that that's all you simply do. You simply add up all the currents if there's multiple currents if they're in the same direction, coming out of the board, consider that positive. Going into the board, consider negative. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, as long as you realize which is which. And so that's how you find the magnetic field around a bundle of wires, each carrying their separate current.